The film started in 1973, when many people in Japan were running here and there to save their lives because there was an attack of monsters, because of which there was fire everywhere. That's why people were running out of the burning building. Among these people was a child, who was very surprised to see all this, because in front of him were many giant monsters and creatures whose size was very large, they were fighting each other. Then a fireball came flying and hit a creature, which fell down. Now a giant turtle comes in front of him, whose size is also very big, and he threw this fireball from his mouth because he was fighting these creatures and saving everyone. The name of this turtle was Gemra. He was moving towards the other creatures to stop them, but suddenly he was hit by a very fast laser beam, which started hurting him a lot. He started screaming, but still, the enemy people, who were considering him a threat, were continuously attacking him with air and throwing fire. Because of this attack, Gemra fell down. Seeing this, the flying creatures came down so that they could finish Gemra. As soon as they came, they started licking him, which caused him a lot of pain, but he stood up again. But those creatures still don't stop, they keep licking and biting him. Seeing this, Gemra got angry. That's why he starts collecting all his remaining energy so that he can fight these creatures. Due to Gemra's doing this, a glow appeared in his body. After a while, he started shining like the sun. But because he had collected a lot of energy, he exploded, due to which all the monsters, including Gemra, burn and die. Now this scene shifts from here and comes after many years. Here we see a man standing by the sea, who is none other than the 1973 child who was watching the fight of the monsters very carefully. Now it is obvious that he has grown up. He got married, he also has a son, whose name is Toru. His wife had died, and today, both father and son came to his grave to pray where Toru was very sad to remember his mother. The next day, when he heard the sound of the sea for his school project, he saw a light on an island across the sea, which was constantly burning, which looked like he wanted to talk to Toru, calling him to himself, which made him happy, and after leaving his swimming project, he decides to go to that island. After swimming, he came to the island. Then slowly, he started moving towards that shining thing. He reaches there and sees that there is a big egg here which is lying on top of a red, shining stone. Toro took the egg in his hand and started looking at it very carefully. He was looking so cute that Toro started playing with him, from which the egg broke, and a small turtle came out of it. The place was small, so Toro started helping him come out. He looks so cute that Toro decides to keep him close to befriend him. But as he turned the turtle, there were strange, shining lines on his stomach. He was surprised to see that because there are no such signs on the stomachs of common turtles. He brought him to his house. He started taking care of him very lovingly. He even chooses the name of his choice. But the next morning, when he woke up, he was surprised to see that the turtle had grown so much in a day. Now that Toro's dad has started coming to his room to clean, Toro quickly hides the turtle. But after a while, he was surprised to see that the turtle was flying in the air. The dad could not see him. As soon as he opened the window, the turtle flew out, and Toru came to his window. At that time, she was standing there. She started screaming when she saw the turtle flying. Because of this, the turtle was worried, and as soon as it came back, Toru caught it before Dad's eyes, and with a signal, he tells his friend to be quiet. Dad asks his friend, What happened? Why did you scream? But as Toru says, she does not tell him anything, and in this way, Toru hides the turtle from his dad. Then, ignoring this, his dad leaves from here. After his departure, Toru shows him to his friend Mai. He started saying that this turtle was my friend, but Mai was looking very worried because of the flying. Toru introduced this new friend to his other friends. She was also very surprised to see it flying, and she wanted to befriend it, on which Mai says that we should not take it so easily. This turtle can be a threat to us. As soon as night fell, she started explaining to Toru that your turtle and Gemra, the giant monster that came here many years ago, are a lot alike, like flying in the air, like this turtle, Gemra could also fly in the air, and because it is a giant turtle, its size may also increase, before anything goes wrong, you leave it somewhere else, but Toru refused to believe this, because she did not believe that my friend is a Gemra, which will turn into a giant turtle, but within a few days, she was seeing this as a misconception, because the size of the turtle was increasing rapidly, it had grown so big that Toru could not even hide it in his house. So helplessly, he comes with all his friends to a secret place and hides it. Here, all his friends were very happy to see the turtle. Except for Mai, because she was worried about its reality. 
When Toru started coming back from there, Mai started telling him again that this is Gemra, which will turn into a giant monster, which can also be a threat. But Toru was still refusing to believe that it had anything to do with Gemra. Now, going from there, Mai says to Toru, crying, that maybe I can't take care of you after a few days. Saying this, she left from there. But Toru did not understand what she was talking about. To tell the truth, the next morning when he went to Mei's house, he found out that for a few days, Mei's heart was going to be operated on, because of which he and his mom were very worried, because a small mistake could ruin his operation. Seeing this, Toru became sad. He was worried about Mai, but after a while, he brings a red, shining stone and gives it to Mai, which was found with the turtle's egg. He was hoping that during the operation, this red, shining stone would protect Mai, and after the operation is successful, it will also keep her alive. See, I am also happy. Thanks to Toru for caring so much for me. And yes, as soon as I get well, I will return this stone to you. And all of a sudden she was worried, because she felt that something was going to be very wrong. The next day, Toru comes to a secret place and checks. And because of this, he was very scared that the turtle was not here, although he meets his friends and looks for it everywhere. But the turtle is nowhere to be found. Now he had no idea what a big danger was coming. In the sea, we see a man who was floating in the water due to the destruction of his ship. To save his life, he started trying to go to the shore. But very soon, he felt that there was something in the water, because all the things around him were going away from him. He was worried. He starts swimming quickly so that he can get out of this place. But then suddenly, something pulls him into the water. Then, after a while, his blood comes out of the water from which we understood that there is definitely a dangerous creature in the water. Who has eaten him? The army was looking for the missing people. Very soon, they also found out about this incident. Because of this, the sirens of danger started ringing everywhere in the city. Hearing this, people got so scared that they started running here and there to save their lives. Toru and his friend also started running after hearing the siren. But as soon as they came to a place and stopped, they were very worried about the destruction in the city. Then Toro's dad came here, who started running away from this dangerous place. At the place where he was running, other people were running there, in which Toro's friend fell down. When Toro and his dad saw this, they started running back to save him. But then suddenly, a very large part of the building in front of them fell down, due to which their way was closed. And due to this, many people were also killed due to suffocation. This part of the building was actually thrown by a very big and dangerous monster whose skin was sharp. He was also destroying the whole city. Now, seeing the monster so close to him, all the people got very scared, and now the monster started moving towards them to cook their food. Before he could swallow everyone in a single snap, Toru sees his friend stuck in the rocks, who was still alive. His dad, Toru, tells his other friend to wait for him here. I'm going to save him. After which, he slowly started moving towards his friend. She was about to save the child and leave from there. That's when the monster moved forward to attack them, before he could do any harm to them. Another creature comes and attacks the monster, and stops him from doing so. Toro's dad was surprised to suddenly escape. As soon as he opened his eyes and looked back, so there was a very big, giant turtle. He attacked the monster, and now he was running at him with anger. Toro's dad was surprised to see him. He thought it was another Jimrahim. Who has come here to save us from this monster? Taking advantage of the opportunity, Toru and everyone started running. Now the monster was angry at the turtle. That's why he also started running at him. But before he could do anything, the turtle attacked him and bit his leg. The monster was in so much pain that he started screaming. To get his leg out of the turtle, he was repeatedly hitting him on the ground. But he was not giving up. That's why, as soon as the monster threw him away, he broke down many buildings and collides with a building far away. The good thing was that he did not get badly hurt. After making himself normal, he stands up again. When Toru was running away from there, his eyes go to the stomach of this giant turtle. Looking at the signs of the stomach, he understands that this is no one else but my friend Turtle, which I had made a pet with me, and today, its size has become so big. Then it is true that this turtle is also from the generation of Jimra. When Toru sees that the monster is moving towards the turtle again, so he started worrying about his friend, and now he starts running towards him. Because of the monster's anger, he hits the turtle hard, then he attacks him hard with his tail, by which the turtle fell far and came up the bridge, but he still does not give up. He got ready to fight again. 
Seeing this, the monster started climbing up the bridge to attack him. As soon as he came close, he attacks him with his long, pointed tongue, by which the turtle was injured, but somehow he kept himself in control, and now the monster attacks him one by one with his pointed tongue, by which the turtle was saving himself again and again. Now because of a lot of attacks, there are holes in the bridge, but before the bridge breaks, the turtle hangs, holding his tongue, to swallow him, the monster started pulling his tongue inward, but as soon as the turtle came close to his mouth, he attacked the monster by letting out fire from his mouth, by which the monster's head caught fire, he falls into the sea below the bridge, now it came to light that this was really Jimra, which has now won the war, but was quite injured, because of which he falls there, seeing his condition, the turtle started running towards him, but when he went a little further, the army stopped him, because he was burning this whole place from all sides, a lot of soldiers come near the turtle, surround him from all sides, which was so injured, that he was able to walk with great difficulty, and then he becomes unconscious, after which, the army tied him to a truck, and started taking him with them, seeing this, the turtle started running with the truck, but the turtle was obviously unconscious, so he could not see anything, but as soon as the turtle called him by the name of Jimra, the turtle immediately opened his eyes, before he could do anything, the truck went ahead of the turtle, then he came to a shelter with his dad, where the rest of the people were kept, and now here the turtle asks his dad about the truth about Jimra, then his dad tells him that this turtle is from the generation of Jimra, and Jimra is a good creature, that Jimra had sacrificed her life to save people in 1973, he explains it to the turtle, that you stay away from that creature, the turtle, to save humans, he will keep fighting the other monsters, until he dies, but Toru was refusing to do this, because he did not consider his friend weak, he considered him a hero, there, the turtle was brought to a lab, because the scientists were trying their best to cure him, they believed that all the monsters that would come to attack here, whatever the danger, would face it, turtle is the only option we have, Toru got a call from his mother, which tells him that his mother's operation was successful, but since he has come to his senses, he is saying strange words in a state of unconsciousness, he has also taken your name, Toru, after hearing this, he understood, that his mother had a mental relationship with that turtle, Jimra, which happened because of that red, shining stone, and because of that, his mother's operation was also successful, which means that the turtle will cure Jimra, will also need that red stone, to get it, the next day, Toru went to the hospital with his friends, so that he can take the stone, the turtle can make his energy again and use it, the next morning, when his dad woke up, he got a letter from Toru, on which Toru had written the reason, where am I going with my friends, and why am I going, after reading this, his dad got very worried, and now to find him, they also leave from there, scientists were trying a lot, to cure the turtle, but their method was not working, but then the turtle opened his eyes, because he started to feel the presence of the monster, which was moving towards the floating population in the sea, then the doctors get the news, that the monster is moving towards this lab, after knowing this, everyone got very worried, because it was clear, that the turtle is not ready to fight yet, then suddenly a wall of this building broke, because the monster came here, and attacked the dome, because of which everyone fell far away, the monster was attacking the dome again and again, and was breaking down the building, the pieces of the building were breaking, and were falling on the turtle, because of which it was clear here, that this monster came here to complete his unfinished fight, because of the breaking of the lab, people were running away from here, while the monster attacks the building so many times, that he destroyed the whole lab, then the pieces of the building, that is Melba, he started attacking the people outside, the turtle also came to the city, but when he saw the news, he got to know that the monster had not only destroyed the lab, but also the whole city, and now, when the turtle realized that there was only one way to save people, and that is with the red stone, then he started moving towards the third mega hospital, but he was unaware of this, that's all the patients, are being taken out of the hospital and taken somewhere else, in which I was also included, now because of the destruction of the lab, the remaining doctors were running away to save their lives, but then he saw, that creature came out of the broken lab, which was no one else, but the turtle, which is fine now, and its size were already quite large, in anger, the turtle shouted loudly, in response to which the monster also shouted, but while destroying the city, he was moving forward, because of which so much terror had spread among the people, that to save their lives, 
they were running here and there like madmen. Now the people came, and the monster crossed the limit of destruction. He went ahead to attack the people, by tearing up a building. He went ahead, before that, he ate them. Then the turtle came, and attacked him, and dropped him far away. But after making himself normal, he started attacking the turtle. By attacking him, he was pushing him far away. He hits the turtle on the monster, which he fell down. The turtle came near the hospital, which was destroyed for a long time. By coming inside, he started looking for his mother, but she is nowhere to be found. Then the turtle's dad came from the front, who scolds him a lot, tells him to stay away from danger, and also, now forget that turtle, don't follow him so much, and the turtle refused to listen to him, saying that, no dad, I can't see him dying like this, he is saving humanity, and I should let him die, like the first Gimli, this one was not saved, which, after saying so, he runs away to never go near the turtle again, but his dad also started running after the turtle, now I was in a hospital, holding a shining stone in my hand, I was watching both monsters fight, it was so sad, I was not able to help the turtle, he got up from the bed, with courage, started going from there, so that by seeing this red stone, you can save Gimli, and his mom and dad stopped him, he still tried to get rid of himself, but the rest of the people caught him and hung him again, no one understood anything, why is my doing this, due to failing her plan, my was very disappointed, but then a girl came in front of her, my thought, she is definitely understanding my trouble, that's why she gave him a stone, and promises, that she will complete this mission, the girl said yes, by taking the stone, started running towards there, where both the monsters are fighting, there, the fight between the turtle and the monster was going on every day, at first, both were hitting each other, but a time came, when the monster started hitting the turtle, and he started beating him a lot, with his sharp tongue, again, attacks his hand, which made a hole in the turtle's hand, he started screaming in pain, the monster was continuously hitting him, but still, he did not lose his courage, he was fighting him anyway, but the monster kicks him, by which the turtle with the building fell down, after which, the monster with his tail and legs beats him a lot, meanwhile, the turtle, got a chance to attack, he bites his tail, holds it, doesn't leave it, by which the monster started screaming in pain, then he moved forward, he was also pulling the turtle along with him, and slowly, he starts climbing up a building, by which he lifts the turtle, in the air, as soon as he started jumping from the building, by using his tail, he lifts the turtle, and kills him, by which he comes to a very high building, and gets stuck there, Toru got sad, by giving it to his friend, but he didn't know, that soon, help is coming, for the turtle, the girl, who was bringing the red stone, was moving forward, but suddenly, she got stuck in the crowd, she knew, that now, I won't be able to move forward, so she gives the mission, to take the stone, to another girl, and now, the boy, started running towards the turtle, but then, the police caught him too, because he was doing this, to save the girl's life, and now, that boy, gives this mission to another girl, and now, he started running towards the turtle, and like this, one by one, the girl, gives the stone to many children, because, she wanted to save humanity, then, finally, the stone, came to Toru's friend, he, succeeded in getting it to Toru, when he looked up, the turtle, was still stuck in the same building, Toru tells his dad, I won't let this camera be sacrificed like the previous one, I will save it, on which, his dad, decides to support him in this mission, and now, both father and son, started moving towards that building, the monster too, started climbing on that building, so that, the turtle, can be saved, as soon as he came near, he, stuck his pointed tongue in the turtle's body, which, caused him a lot of pain, after coming inside the building, Toru and his dad started going towards the turtle, on their way, they started removing all the obstacles, then, finally, Toru comes to the place, where the turtle was stuck, giving him pain, Toru says, don't worry, look, I have brought a red stone for you, with the help of which you will become like before, and you won't even die, I will save you, because, I love you very much, in the meantime, the monster came to the roof of this building, which, attacks with its tail, and tries to pull the turtle out, seeing it fall, 
Toru throws the red stone towards it, which fell directly in front of the turtle's mouth, and then it starts falling down. As soon as it fell down, there was a big blast, but as soon as Toru saw it, he found out that inside the turtle, there is a different power, with the help of which he is able to fly with great power, and this power came inside him because of the red stone, and now, after gaining his full power, he started flying upward, and started spinning fast, because of which there was a lot of smoke everywhere. Seeing this, all the children, who helped the turtle, to get this power, became happy, and the flying turtle, as soon as it came, from the monster, it fell down, from a very tall building, and now, when the camera came to the ground, to attack it again, in its form, the monster, attacked it, it bites the turtle again, because of this, it has to activate its energy again, it has to scream, using its power, it attacks itself, and then, the turtle, using its power, it had freed itself, from the monster, and then, it pulls its tongue, and cuts it into pieces, and now, the turtle, to attack itself, started getting ready, it recharges its energy again, because of this, its body became bright like the sun, it throws a lot of fire, from its mouth, towards the monster, this fire attack was so big, that the monster's body fell into pieces, and it, with a blast, scattered everywhere, because of which it dies, the world, was saved by the turtle, from the monster, because of which the world was saved.